to be a new leader of that party and therefore a new prime minister. New prime minister, you say, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> well, that is where I come in. Welcome to the Unite Party. I am your leader, Harvey Williams. You might know me, you might not know me. But we want to work together as one to beat the Conservatives. We are going to be the next leader of this great United Kingdom. Unite the Kingdom as one. So you're probably thinking, what's this party about? It's about uniting the nation. The four nations of the United Kingdom. Even though, I don't know what nation you put the Isle of Man in, because it's not England. And same with Jersey, Guernsey, to me, and all the other Channel Islands, and the Isle of Wight, there's loads, but I could go on. You know, I can go on. But anyway, my manifesto now, so I think you'll probably do that. There's 11 points to this manifesto. It's going to be a long speech, it's going to be a long campaign to try and become Prime Minister of this great United Kingdom. So the first point, complete Brexit. 52% of you voted for Brexit. Whether I would have done, I mean, probably not, but that's not the point. You voted Brexit, that's what we're going to complete. We're going to complete it smoothly. Ensure there is a gradual process of leaving the European U Union. So what that means is, we might take a few steps back that look like we're basically in it again. We're not going to be in it. We will eventually come out properly. But the way it is now, our shelves are not stacked. Our cupboards are not stacked. And that's what we need. We can't be having food prices going through that roof completely. The, the Brexit will be done, but done well and done gradually. Point to make Jade Law a law immediately. You might not know what Jade Law is. I would suggest Googling it. Because it's very close to my heart and a lot of people's heart. And why it's not a law already, I will never know. Number three. You will not be able to enter this country unless you are vaccinated against COVID-19. COVID-19 was a horrible pandemic. And the only way we can get out is by getting vaccinated. And luckily, we do seem to be coming out the other side now. Touch wood. That's wood. Point four. No immigration will be allowed unless confirmed by government officials into this country. So what we say about is what we want to guarantee place of work for anyone coming in. We welcome refugees from Ukraine with the war going on there and we wish everyone well there and we will call up the defence to go to Ukraine and try and defend against Putin and the rest of Russia but so what we're saying is the uh, people can come in we've got to have a guaranteed place to stay and work and to do that we're going to set up 20 places of stay for these refugees and uh, work them whether that you know, picking fruit out in the summer. Or just doing jobs that maybe people don't want to do. Street cleaning. Whatever they can see, they will do them. And how that's going to be paid for? Well, tax will not rise for the next 12 months at least at all. And tax will only rise while I'm in power if inflation rises. If the economy rises, tax will rise. That is it. So you will never pay more percentage tax than you do now so your net income percentage will not go down for the duration of my stay in power so what else i'll do is there'll be adjustment to the tax barriers to be any way your tax will go up and if you cross into the next tax barrier it should be now so the adjustment will be made so working class people will pay less tax Richer people will pay more tax, but they will get extra incentive, non-financial incentive for paying more tax and recognition from the government, whether that's maybe even us doing a bit of promotion for their company. Because what that means is they will pay more tax, but they'll get promotion for it. 
So that, that's one way of doing it, one of many. Next thing, even more incentive for paramedics and police and the NHS will get a 2% pay rise, further 2% for all their hard work. So what the incentives are we will be outlining if we are to be in power. But there are incentives to become a paramedic, a policeman, firefighter, any um, key worker job will be big incentive to get into that field. Number seven, the death penalty returns. I know what you're thinking, that's a bit hard. No, it's not. You kill someone, you deserve to be killed. So it will happen in a controlled manner. If you were sentenced to life, then life means life. You will die. And you're probably thinking, I mean, it's a bit hard, but I see where you're coming from. And I hope that's what you do. But we want tougher penalties for crime. Crimes are not good. There will be tougher sentences for all crimes, not just life sentences. But, say, if you burgle a house, 16 weeks in jail, not really enough for me. Maybe 16 years. Maybe not 16 years. But you know what I mean. Number eight, further 10 million into the education system on top of what is already in place. For, like... Not just 10 million, but what's already in place by the government. There'll be a further 10 million on top by that. So, number nine, the recycling initiative, where you earn points which will get you items from what you recycle. You recycle, you get points, you get rewarded by free stuff. Further incentive to keep this planet going, keep it safe. Now, you probably noticed, and I haven't said climate change. Climate change, unfortunately, is inevitable. We can try and mitigate it as much as we can. That's what I'm saying with my point 11, which I'll just go on to. Maintain the ban on all non-hybrid death electric cars by 2030, although basically 40, because there'll just be a massive tax on cars from 2030. So you can still use your car for further 10 years, but the tax will just be huge on it. So we want to maintain electric vehicles. Mr Elon Musk, get your Tesla ready. Running up to number 10, so the last one now. Encourage you to public transport. You know I'm a transport neek. So, transport, we definitely love transport. Hate death to will be complete and quickly. Get people from A to B. Improve our economy. That's what we want. But further transport... All lines will be repaired, be replaced, and hopefully less delayed. Say hopefully, definitely less delayed on our trains and our buses and any other mode of transport. So, that's it. That is my feet done. It's a long one, only nine minutes long, yeah. But anyway, so what, what's next for this campaign? Well, we're going to keep campaigning to keep our country safe. We want to be in power. We're not ready for Ricky. I don't trust Liz as far as I could throw her. PM, not for PM. Hope with Harvey. That's what we want and that's what we need. Vote for Harvey. 